Hey, hey, hey. So I'm here to uh, show you the Carol Bralette in its kind of finishing stages. Uh, this is really about installing your neck edging and the elastic in the neck edging. But I'm going to give you a little sneak into how I added a pocket to my girlfriend's bralette as well. So here it is. I've applied the armhole edging and not the neck quite yet. Now in the pattern, it says to apply the armhole edging after the neck, but I decided to apply the armhole edging before installing the pocket just so that it would be a little more finished. Ta -da. So I just took a square, I cut it to size, I gave it a quarter inch extra on all sides and then folded that quarter inch in and hemmed it by hand on all sides. And then I've just sewn it into the band here. So I sewed it against the band at the bottom, up the inside, across the top. And then on this side, I left it open just in the center. So Candace is going to be able to put her pads in there. She's had a single mastectomy. And so she pads on just the left side. So I gave her one pocket and um, that's that. So now I'm going to go ahead and pick up the stitches for the neck edging and finish it up. I'll come back and show you when I've got the um, elastic ready to be installed and uh, I'll see you then. All right. So it's the next day and I got the neck edging on here. Now, before the elastic is in, it's common for the neck edging to be a little floppy and uh, the fact that the pocket is sewn in there is making it like a little bit floppier. You can see the, the padding is in the pocket right now that Candace uses. And I followed the pattern instructions. So all of the stitches are bound off except for just these few in at the end of the row there. So I've got my flat elastic and I've got a big spool because I'm planning to make a lot of bralettes and I'm going to leave it attached to the spool. If you have less, that's fine, but I just wouldn't cut it until it's through so that you don't waste or you waste as little as possible. I'm going to use a big darning needle like this and I'm going to thread the elastic in. Now I'm trying to keep the elastic pretty, um, flat, like untwisted as it goes through. So I'm just kind of smoothing it out now to start because that's going to make it easier after the fact. And there's two ways that you can really approach this. You can go slow and keep the tension where you want it as you're working, or you could kind of speed through it and then work the tension at the end. Um, I'm going to go a little slower, so I might not do this whole thing on camera, but I'm taking the needle in right in between those held stitches, and I'm just going to go through the channel there for a little while. I'm going to bunch the stitches, and then on the wrong side, I'm just popping the needle out so that I can pull it through. And now the elastic is in the channel. So I'm going to pull a significant amount through here. Again, I'm keeping it pretty flat. And then I'm just unbunching it. Because you don't really want to bunch up your neckline while you do this. You're maybe going to cinch it a little bit at the end, but mostly you can keep it smooth and that's going to be more what you want. Uh, okay. So I'm almost done. The elastic is through most of this. I'm trying to keep the tension pretty even here, but you can see this strap is still getting like pulled a little bit short. That's better. So everything, once the elastic is in, 
everything is stretchy, but if you don't use enough elastic, it's not going to be comfortable. So, okay. So I'm coming in to the same spot that I came out on the wrong side, right? And then just going through, through, through with the needle. And then I'll come out in another spot and pull the elastic through. And that's how I've been doing it around. And when it comes through twisted, I try and untwist that same spot just by maneuvering the elastic with my fingers through the fabric. That way will be pretty good. Okay, for this last couple. So into the same spot that I came out of on the wrong side, through the channel, through, 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 and here we go. Now this will be the last time I came out that open spot, which was the beginning of the round. I think that twisted again. So I'm just going to help the twist along. Oh yeah. Where I see that it's twisted and I can turn it inside of the channel. Okay. So now it's in there and it's flat. And you can see the tension is greater on the one side than the other, but it's pretty close. So I'm going to use my hands and just kind of pull around the channel. Oh, that was my needle falling, but I don't need it anymore. Around, 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 around. To even out that tension as much as possible. So the armhole edges will lay flat with blocking. And what I want is for the inner edge of the neck to be as long as the outer strap. It's okay if there's some ruffling, but I don't want to see. See, it's still pulling in there a little bit. There we go. <laughs> so now that it's in there and everything's pretty even, again, these are going to lay flat with blocking and when it's on Candace's body, there will not be this pulling across the front. So when I find the tension that I want for the elastic band, now I've got a lot of excess, so I'm going to pull it through more of it. You'll cut close in there, and then you want to overlap your edges and sew them together. I'll show you what that looks like when I've done that step. Final steps. So this has been sewn in here. Not very well. <laughs> it's a little tricky to sew it in because it's, um, it's like in the neckline already, but I'm just going to thread my darning needle. And I'm going to go ahead and close up these guys right on the stitch markers. Just the same way I would. Otherwise. So that's it. It's in there right now. It's looking a little sloppy because I'm going to neaten it up with my darning needle and weave in the two ends in such a way that it will just cover up. So I go almost like I'm doing a horizontal graft in to one of the sides into the other side so that I am just closing up that tube. And so I've done a few of these now. Sometimes they're going to come out looking really perfect. Sometimes there might be a little bit of noise in that area. 
see just a little bit of noise right there that is along the back. So I know Candace isn't going to be looking for every single stitch to be perfect. But um, I am going to do my best while I'm weaving in this second end to neaten up a little more. Now I've got two ends just to weave in that have already been sent through there and reinforced. And you can see I like worked the elastic around until the straps are pretty even. And now the rest of the tension will smooth out with wearing and with blocking. So if I block this, everything will lay perfectly flat. But once this is on Candace's body, that's because of the negative ease, that's also going to help it lay flat. And once again, because I've got the pads in here already, there's kind of a lot of different things pulling at this bralette, making it look a little sloppier. But you can see it's actually pretty even and wonderful there. Ta-da! So that's it. This is how... This is how you install your neck edging.